Hi, my name is Bogdan. I am the owner of DNS Sharp. In this video, I want to present to you a less known feature of my tokens, and that is the ability to write Razor scripts in line in HTML modules. And that is very powerful when building uh, uh, applications because you can, for example, write some HTML content and then iterate a list of items from the database, list them, and then continue with some other HTML content. So let me jump directly into action. I'll, I already have a My Tokens module here that will let me go to the management console. And here you have to go into the setup screen, into the second tab, security. You'll notice a checkbox here, allow inline script access. By default, this will be off because this will expose your website if you allow users to edit content. So for example, if someone, a regular user can edit an HTML module, and you enable this option, he can possibly write Razor scripts and do anything on the server side. And you don't want that. But if you have full control on the application, nobody has uh, edit rights over content that can be tokenized, then you can enable this option. Okay, so I just enabled it. And I, I've already created a similar a token here that is a um, Razor script that basically that displays the current username so this is the normal way to do it you'd go here here click new script and you'd write your script here but now i will show you how to do it directly in the html module so i will go back to a page and i already have an html module here that i can use i will just have to make sure that the token replacement is enabled from module settings and I see it is and now I will go and edit the HTML and normally I would just put here um, for example user that um, first name this would be a token that you'd put in HTML modules and you'd put the same thing for Razor script, you'd put the same uh, the token name. Now, what I will do instead of doing this, I'll create a Razor script and you create a Razor script by placing it between Razor tags. These tags will be parsed by my, my tokens, and uh, the script inside the tag will be compiled just as it was a token. So, for example, I would just display. Again, I will display the user first name here. Say, I would say hello, user first name. I'm just saving this. And you can see here, hello, super user. Of course, this is a basic example. And I can show you a more complex example. Let's say I want to display all uh, pages on this portal. So I will just go and write a script that iterates over all the pages just for each part tab in and now I have to see if I remember or I will just go to Visual Studio and try this. This is the main page in, uh, in uh, my tokens, I will just use it for for testing uh, this function because here I have an assistant so I'll just say tab controller get portal tabs mm, this doesn't look right let's see the object methods get get tabs by portal okay and here I will get the current portal. Okay. So this will return a tab collection, which is a list of pages. I will just go back and see if this works. I, I'm not sure if, if I have to, to specify the full namespace, but I will see that in a few. Okay. And now I'm just displaying the the let's say 
let's see that, that, that I'm actually building a list of items. I can place the unordered list tiles inside or outside the, the razor tag. Okay, and now I'll display, let's say, the page name. Okay, and let me save this and see if, if it works. Portal ID, so portal ID does not exist in current context, okay. Let's see where can we get it from. Maybe we have a portal dot portal ID here. Or if not, I will just hard code it. Nor or normally I can just make portal controller get current portal settings dot portal ID. This could work, but if it doesn't work, I will just replace it with zero because this is not what I want to demonstrate here. Okay. Uh, okay, so it seems that top collection is a dictionary. So probably the key is the tab ID and the value is the actual actual tab. Okay, let's see. Yes, so now you see I have a list with all the pages on the site. And this is inside an HTML module. So now you can uh, you have a razor and now you write something else and then you can have another razor script or f as a matter of fact you can also have a spark script i don't know if anybody is using spark templates with my tokens so now you can have another razor script and here say and for a total of and here i will say how many pages you have on your site let's see if that works and for a total of 39 so you have 39 pages so you see I've created an HTML module and I've included a list here I've included a number and you can do all sorts of magic tricks basically using the HTML modules for building applications or view of applications so this can be complementary used with um, action form. So you use action form for gathering user input and you use my tokens and HTML modules for displaying it. And there is another video on, on doing this, doing this uh, basic application using these two modules. That, that's it. I hope this helps and thanks for your time.